Adam's Violin Concerto was um, premiered in 1994. As a matter of fact, premiered the day after I was born, January 19, 94, by the Minnesota Orchestra and Georgia Fluzanis. It's something that I've wanted to play myself for years, um, ever since coming across it when I was, you know, in high school or something. <laughs> One of the interesting things about this piece is how he kind of melds this traditional with new. And I think that's most clear in the second movement, which is a chaconne, actually. Um, so that movement's title is Body Through Which the Dream Flows, from a Robert Haas poem. That's kind of a, a theme through the whole piece, the body through which the dream flows. And Adams talks about the orchestra being this mass of blood and tissue, and the violin being the dream kind of carrying over the entire piece. Um, and I think especially in the first movement, this is definitely the case. You, you see this like sort of swirling orchestral accompaniment almost entire time the violin is playing this rhapsodic, melodic theme over the top of it. John Adams uh, uses a reference from the poet Robert Haas, um, who is a great Californian Bay Area poet, happens to be where I'm from too. So I hear, for instance, the Bay Area when I, <laughs> when I listen to this music and definitely, you know, you can hear this sort of grandeur of nature of, you know, the craggy cliffs in Big Sur kind of mixing with this rock element of Berkeley, you know, in the 60s and 70s. And then that's also mixed with this incredible kind of American theme. It's kind of a lot jumbled in to one piece. You know, one thing that I thought was interesting that John Adams said about this piece was he thinks of the events kind of unfolding as if on a long Chinese scroll. So that makes me think, well, he had kind of the Far East in mind also. It's just drawing in all of these eclectic influences, and I think it's just so compelling. It's really, I think, one of the, the most challenging pieces I've ever come across. And in a way, kind of unprecedented <laughs> in, in the way that I didn't really know how to approach it at first. The violin is playing almost nonstop the entire time. And not just playing, but playing these, these finger patterns that are just totally foreign to most players. So, so I've been learning this sort of like on the back burner for an entire year. You know, I think a lot of people see a concerto written in 1994 or, you know, uh, by John Adams and they say, wow, it's going to be, you know, minimalistic or, you know, hard to follow for 35, 40 minutes. Um, but I think this is actually um, an exception to that. I personally grew up with John Adams' music in my head and in my ears, and I think there's something just so wonderful about Adams' orchestration, and he has this incredible ear for how to use instruments. <laughs>